my YouTube channel. So I believe everybody knows about LAN chain and chroma database or the vector database, right? So if you are not familiar with this, please check my play playlist. Okay, so I have uploaded um, the tutorials with respect to LAN chain and the chroma or vector databases. So, so in this video, we are going to discuss about how can we delete a document from the vector database. So consider we have a manual. Okay, so we uploaded the manual to a chroma database or to a vector DB. Okay, and maybe after some time, maybe after a year, so we are revising the manual. Okay, so we have created a new version of the document and we are going to upload to the same chroma database. Okay, so in this scenario, we may have to delete or it may be a good practice to delete the older version of the document. Otherwise, uh, what will happen if you search for something, uh, the older version details may come into place instead of the new version. Okay, so that is I'm going to show in this video. So here as I discussed, we'll, I will show you how can we delete the data from a vector database using the file name or the document name. Okay, so <clears throat> So I'm going to install few packages like Langchain Chroma, uh, Langchain Community, Text Splitter, and the Sentence Transformers. Okay. Okay. So it is connecting. Okay. It may take a couple of seconds. So now it's installing Langchain Chroma. Okay, so execution is in progress. Maybe I should have executed earlier, <laughs> but yeah. So let me explain the code here. So once, <clears throat> so this is a standard code. We are uh, standard code. We are importing the Chroma database. We are um, importing the text loader and we are uh, doing the sentence transformers and the character splitter. Okay. So see that these are the basic imports that we are doing. Okay. And, and we need to import our document. So let me uh, import the document here. Just a second. Okay. We can upload a document. So this is the document that is available. Let me check here. Okay. So we have the document is available, state of the union. So that is a document that I am going to load. Okay. So once that is loaded, we are we are splitting that one. Okay. We are um, uh, splitting like a chunk size is a thousand, and we are doing the text splitter. Then we are creating the docs. Okay. So this document is uploaded to the Chroma database. Okay, so here we are using the uh, embedder as a uh, like a sentence transformer and embedding. So this is the embedder model name that we are using. Okay, all mean LM uh, L6 V2. Okay. This is actually a good one. So this is the embedding function that we are using. Okay, so we can also use the OpenAI embedding also. But since it is free, we are, we are using this one. Okay, so here we have the database. Okay, so okay. then this is the query. Okay, what did the uh, president say about Kandaji Brown Jackson? Okay, this is a standard code and what we are doing, we are doing a similarity search. Okay, then after that we are printing the doc, the result. Okay, so that is a simple code that we are doing. So let me execute this. We are importing the docs. Then we are loading it. Okay. So now we are splitting it. So here we are loading the embedder. Okay, so let me let me write it here. Let me print it here. It will be very clear. So here we are printing the document. Okay. So here we can see that we can see a document content is content is there. Also here we can see 
the source okay, let me scroll it let me go to the end okay so here we can see the metadata information okay in that we will have a source okay so to to delete this what we can do first we can get the ids okay all the embedding ids with respect to this source for that i can write it as db dot get these are vector database here i can write it as db dot get Okay. Then I can mention word close. Here I can mention source. Source will be what the source name. I can copy the source from here. Okay. So this is my source. Now can print it here okay so this will give us a lot of information okay so in that what we need is only the ids with respect to this document so here maybe i will take ids only let me assign this to a id let me print the ids okay. so these are the these all are the chunk ids that is with respect to this particular source document okay so <clears throat> to, to to delete all these content we can simply write db dot delete and i can give the all the ids just execute this okay now we can do the same process again okay so we can we can copy this and we can try to execute this okay now we can print the ids right so it is empty okay so all the chunk ids with respect to this particular document is gone okay so now maybe to ensure this we can try to run this again we can see if this this returns anything okay just to double check okay see the result is empty okay so we can ensure that all the chunk ids with respect to the document is deleted from the chroma database so that means the vector database okay so i believe it is clear and i have i believe i have explained the the specific use case where we need to delete the chunk ids okay so that is all about in this video so please do like and subscribe have a nice day bye bye